Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylos and welcome back to Overanalyze, which is of course our awesome Overwatch coaching series. Now, if you would like to send a video in for consideration to be on this wonderful series, then follow the instructions that have been on the screen. But what we're going to do today, guys, is look, I think, at our very first master level player. This is a 3,700 rated Lucio on Volskaya Industries. Uh, it's on PC as well. So we're going to see what goes on here. Like, Lucio is a very interesting character. After his, well, rework, his playstyle has, ch like, totally changed. You can still kind of play him how old Lucio was played. So what I mean by that is very passive. Almost like just staying alive was Lucio's main game, right? You didn't want to die. You wanted to speed boost him when you needed to speed boost and all of that stuff. However, he's much more different now. He's very potent. So let's take a look at the team here. So I've just paused this to check out the team. Um, what it looks like we've got here is obviously we've got you and Lucio, which is great. We've got a Widow. I, you know, it's fine. Widow gets a pick. It's cool. It's great. We've got Genji for flankage. Oh, that's beautiful. We've got a bit of Hog. Uh, we've got a Nerissa and then we've got a Mercy. So you could say like if I wanted to put on my total... I guess, high-level meta hat. I go, well, this isn't really a very good team. There's a lot of issues with this. Um, I don't really like the Mercy in this team comp because, well, I prefer an Ana primarily to heal these two up. Um, the Lucio can look after the Genji, I suppose, if the Genji goes in. But th basically, this team is kind of all over the place, but it's still serviceable. It can still work. My main issue would be this Orisa um, going through the choke point. Anyway, let's play the video because we don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to sit here just guessing at what's going to happen for God knows how long. They, I mean, they might even change these heroes. So the key with this Lucio is he does damage now. Lucio can effectively duel the enemy supports and beat them a lot of the time, right? Anna is a problem, but you can still take Anna out. He can also contribute to DPS in the middle of a major fight. Lucio is very, very durable. His auras, you can visually see them on the screen now. We all know the Lucio changes. In fact, this is actually quite nice. You should do this more often, guys. If you record games, uh, oh, it's called David Bowie. I've only just realized that as well. Um... Uh, <laughs> If you send in games that are for overanalyzed, if you quickly look at your career profile page, it gives me more information. So we can see this is 3,679. So I was lied to. It's not a 3,700 rated Lucio, is it? Liar. Anyway, it's still master, which is awesome. Um, but it's a Lucio main. You can see this. It's got 27 hours on Lucio, which is pretty ridiculous. Win percentages. 56% uh, on Lucio. Pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good, actually. Hello, guys. Somebody said hello. And uh, have you spoke? Current competitive, yeah, 27. Okay, so I guess that takes me on to my next point, speaking. Lucio is a beautiful shot caller. What changes or, or what separates lower level Lucios to higher level ones is higher level Lucios, yes, they're great at wall riding, yes, they're great at doing Lucio things, but they also communicate with the team. The speed boost, right? Okay, I've got to pause this here. Speed boosting out the door there is pointless, absolutely pointless. You don't need to speed boost there. What you want to do is walk forward to the choke, then tell your team on the voice chat, guys, I'm speeding, three, two, one, and now you speed. Because you don't want to... Oh my god, oh my god. You don't want to fight in the choke. This is the worst thing ever. You should not have used this ability, right? You should have just waited, ran out the door without using it. As soon as you got through the building, whatever the hell you want to call it, where the mega health pack is, then you go, guys, I'm going to speed in three, two, one, and then you want them to go through the choke. You want to get in there, right? You can't obviously go this way because their whole team's out. It'd be crazy. But you could flank around the point that way. Lucio controls the engagement. It is so essential to talk to your team when you're playing Lucio. I cannot stress that enough. Because what I don't want you to do now is just get stuck in the choke. So we've lost the Roadhog. We're spamming down into the choke. I mean, in terms of damage that you're doing, that's fine. This is over now. This this push is over. We've lost two people. Going on the offensive like this is crazy. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, just start healing the team. We basically need to tell our team to back off now. This, again, is, is, is an issue with Lucio play, right? Are you going to die for that? All right, so that was really bad. All of that play there was really, really bad. What you did is you didn't... You, you never use your speed boost at the right time to get through the choke. You then carried on poking the enemy when you'd lost two guys in your team. So all you're doing to the enemy there is feeding them ultimate charge. And turn off the tip thing. You don't need that. You're a master level player. It, it, it's like... And also eating fire strikes is stupid, right? You don't want to give the enemy ultimate charge when you've got no chance of pushing. Our problem now is beyond you just playing Lucio right now and speed boosting and heal boosting and not really doing anything, to be honest, is we need to get together as a team. This is where being a shot caller comes in. I'm not saying because you play Lucio, you have to be the shot caller or the guy who takes control. But just say, guys, regroup. 
that's what needs to happen here. Uh, somebody in the chat is saying, it. guys, can we go? Yeah, so this guy is getting really frustrated because we're just standing in the choke getting killed. This is so bad. This is what is highly frustrating throughout Overwatch on 2CP maps because the initial chokes, teams don't walk through them. They stand in them. It's crazy. But the good news is we've now got a Reinhardt. So this should be a little bit easier than the Arista to move forward. It looks like we kind of have waited here. We need speed boost. Yeah, we're speed boosting it. Don't be afraid to wall ride as well. Like, you should be wall riding more. Right, we need to get the hell out of here now. We do not want to engage him. He will kill us. All right, that was kind of a bit... Like, two things were happening there. The Hanzo killed us, which was unfortunate. But the soldier was using his tac visor. You don't want to run into soldier with his tac visor. What you want to do, if you had sound barrier, is sound barrier as soon as you hear the tac visor. Because I play a ton of soldier, and I'll tell you right now, when sound barrier goes off as you tac visor, it is the worst thing ever, because you will get no kills. You cannot do enough damage. You might have to get one kill, maybe, if you're lucky. If you're nano boosted, it's a different game altogether. But the big problem, uh, like, the sound barrier just negates that ultimate. Okay, so let's take a look at what you do now. So you've kind of gone in to support the Zarya, which is sort of okay, but that's like everybody's split now. Right, why have we used this now? Uh, we need to think why we've used this. In fact, I'm just going to let this play out and see what happens because I would not have used Sound Barrier there, and I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so it, it's kind of like a really messy fight. But what kind of value did we actually get off the Sound Barrier there? Like, this fight is still going on. You could probably say that, yeah, it maybe kept the Reinhardt alive. So, you see, <laughs> that's that, that. I mean, that's just unlucky. In hindsight, it's like, all right, that wasn't a bad sound barrier. The reason why I was like, uh-oh, why have you sound barriered here? Is because it looked to me like almost a lost fight. Like, it looked fairly even. Everyone was spread out. Your sound barrier and it's kind of okay. But it's going to wear off. And what difference is it going to make? The thing with sound barriers, look at the enemy team. Look at their composition, right? They have a Hanzo. So if you're going to get hit with the Dragon Strike, maybe you could... I mean, the Dragon Strike did go through that point. In fact, let me just pause this here because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. The Dragon Strike did go through the point, which was fine. You could have potentially sound barriered to counter that, but it kind of had already gone through the point, so it didn't really matter. The enemy Genji, I don't think they've got a Genji. I can't even remember what the team composition is. <laughs> but if they had, obviously, using your uh, sound barrier... When Genji's using his ult is great. Um, using it to negate Soldier's ult is great. But obviously there are some ultimates where it can maybe not be too great. Uh, that's a positional mistake there. You got hit with that. Because you just stand in the middle. Remember, you're Lucio. You can wall ride. Wall ride all over the place. And you have to stay with your team to heal them as well. Because old Lucio, you could be very passive. And I know there's been a bit of a transitional period. That was just unlucky there. With... Uh, old Lucio is adapting to the way new Lucio works. You can be more aggressive with him. Like, really, really more aggressive. And I feel okay. like you're not really aggressive enough with him. You're kind of passive in a way, and you're just letting the enemy kill you. You've been unlucky in a few instances there. You know, don't get me wrong. But the biggest issue I'm seeing right now with your play is you're not telling the team what to do. Now, I'm not... I don't want you... Well, okay, that's kind of wrong. I don't want you to tell the team what to do. I want you to give advice. I want you to say basic things, right? You are the hero which controls the engagement. That means you instigate the fight. That's unfortunate. You instigate the fight, right? So what you want to be doing is getting your speed aura on and going... Right, guys, we're going to go in 3, 2, 1, and then you go. Guys, we're going to go in 3, 2, 1, and then you Again, go. Dude, you ready? Uh, Back in the mix. Okay. Hang on, let's just pause this because... what? Like, This is a master level game, and honestly, this is uh, a, a really interesting game just because the lack of communication and understanding seems quite different to what i'm used to seeing i don't know uh but let's just go over what's going on here like my issue with that is look at all these ultimates we've got that is a lot of ultimates that are not being used or have not been used this here is an easily winnable fight now now you as the lucio i'm not expecting you to be like right this is what we're going to do zarya you're going to use your grav genji you're going to dragon blade into it yeah and then if that doesn't work or if that kills like most of them because they don't have a mercy so it's not like they can res then soldier you're going to attack visor and reinhardt can use his ult whenever he likes if mercy's got her ult then you know that'd be great she can use it in the fight but here we've got definitely a winning combination now i'm not saying it's your position it's your place to say guys this is what we're going to do but the lucio role is a little bit more than just running around aimlessly wall riding i like to take control of the team when i play lucio the difference now is lucio is much stronger on his own than he was where you can go in and duel people you can take people out you can boot people all over the place all right so let's see what's happened here genji uh we've got an earth shatter coming into a grab but the grab is actually the grab got them okay we're speeding we're healing 
Uh, we're getting pushed off here. We've probably lost this, it looks like. That's a pretty good boop. Like, in terms of where to use your your heal or, or to... Uh, all right, all right, okay, okay. In terms of where to use your songs, right, you're kind of okay, right? You're using speed when you need to. You're using uh, heal when you need to. Uh, generally, in a very basic level, you use speed to engage and then you heal during the fight. But also, you can keep swapping onto speed, onto heal, onto speed and keep flipping between them. If you look at really high-level Lucio players, they'll do this a lot. Even some extremely high-level players will swap between the songs to change their momentum as they're climbing on the walls because... What you want to do is, like, sometimes you might want to last longer on a wall, so you sort of go onto the hill song, so you move slower. So, yeah, I think your usage of that is okay. But this here, this sound barrier, is great because this fight, right, the reason why I like this is because this is, like, borderline. But if we get them off the point here because we're already capturing it and we can control it and solidify our position with the use of that ultimate, which we have, and Mercy's coming with a great ultimate there, none of this would have happened unless you sound barrier. That's unlucky. Your Reinhardt's just gone in crazy. Mercy's killing people. Oh, yeah. Battle Mercy. Let's go. We don't really want to get meleeed by Reinhardt. We don't want to get meleeed. We want to get away from him. Like, going near Reinhardt is completely stupid because he'll smash your brains out. You don't want that. He would be a priority to group away. Uh, that's very lucky. Whoa, that's very lucky. We almost got pinned. Welcome to 2CP, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Like, what I would have done here... I'm just going to rewind this a little bit because you get caught up in... In fact, this is... Uh, yeah, this would be a decent enough uh, place to do it. You get caught up on the fight, right? And you end up running around on the point. Now, everybody does this. What you want to do, though, is Lucio. Remember, you can wall ride. Why don't you? Why are you not wall riding, right? You see this room here? This, In fact, this high ground area here. Here. <laughs> As Lucio, you can stand there and can test the point. Like, you can run out, run in, run out, run in, run out, run in. And your aura will still get most of your team. It's such a nice position to be in, on the defense and on the attack. Also, you could just wall ride on these walls as well, just to get you off the ground level, because then you're harder to hit. When you're in the air, you're harder to hit, and you move faster when you wall ride as well, because every time you disconnect from a wall, you get a speed boost, which is, um, which just keeps getting faster and faster the more walls that you, you, you ride on, basically. So yeah, like, just stand in the middle, not a great plan with Lucio. Try and use a wall ride. What I think is a great thing to do with Lucio is to just load up the game, uh, load up a custom game, and just sort of go around and wall ride. And just get used to it. Because when you're doing it in a live game, it's different, right? Because you're getting attacked. Just load up a skirmish and start dancing all over the walls. You, you will get much better as Lucio if you do that. Okay, so you've said to your team, well played, well played. That's great, but uh, it'd be better if you had a microphone. I mean, you're in the voice chat, but you're not using it. Select your hero. And that is an, a, a major issue for me. It always is a major issue for me. Um, especially when you're playing Lucio. Because like I said, Lucio can dictate the fight. Okay, let's Mexican, take a look. Can you go rain? Uh, Ryan would be a good call. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> However, what is not a good call with this team comp is the Lucio. So let me just pause this and explain why this is not good. Because what we've got here is a Reinhardt, a Zarya. These are going to be magnets for damage. They're going to take high, high damage. Lucio cannot burst heal. Yes, he can with his heal better than he could before in the past. But it's not on the level of Anna. Anna is the hero you should swap to right now. I know looking at your profile, I don't think you played much Anna, so you're a Lucio player, so it would be hard for you to do that. It's still, it still is usable taking Lucio, don't get me wrong. But the problem with all of this now is Lucio doesn't really have the burst to keep these people up. Lucio's only benefits here is he can help Genji, possibly, right? Because you could maybe go in with Genji on some sort of half-baked dive, although I wouldn't really recommend that because that's not going to be great. Uh, McCree, yeah, he's probably going to be around the tanks, and this kind of looks like a mess now. But yeah, you'll probably be able to heal McCree... And these three, um, fairly okay. Symmetrical, possibly. But it would be better if you could play Anna. Now, obviously, if you can't play Anna, all of that really doesn't matter. But solo heal Lucio is really bad. It is the only support which heals I would never take on its own. I would take a Mercy on her own above Lucio. But always an Anna. Okay, let's see what happens. Come on, let's bring it together. Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah. 
Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just, I just coughed to death. I had to cut that out of the video. Holy hell. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the position you're going to take up. Um, now, obviously, most teams do defend around this area, which, yeah, is kind of fine. Like, your Reinhardt will sort of sit in this area here, and that's great. Um, pro teams don't, though. They defend much further back behind the point. And I think over time, we'll probably see that creep into standard ladder players teams start to change their defensive positions but whatever this is cool symmetra's setting up a turret this is great uh we're waving it's awesome we're spraying it's awesome zary has got a present it's awesome thanks all right so what we need to be looking at here is i, I think we're going to focus a little bit more on your damage dealing because your accuracy seemed a little bit dodgy to me but lucio okay. is almost like hanzo in a way like you can just spam damage down <laughs> like through chokes so just do it you know all damage is great like any damage you can get in take it as what are we speed boosting for all right let's get some extra out quick that's okay but she would have got out there anyway without a speed boost just with the speed aura we need to heal yep we're healing but also in terms of basic combos don't be afraid of melee like what i'm let me just pause this a second because I don't want to miss anything. But when you're Lucio and you're not really using him aggressively, you should be a little bit, right, a bit more aggressive than you are. If you get into somebody's face in a 1v1 situation, you should be firing at them with primary fire and then meleeing them. And then firing at them with primary fire and then meleeing them. Punching them in the face and firing them. Then you can boop them if you like. I think the boop does 25 damage, although correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but don't use the boop as like an initiation thing in the middle of a fight. Use it to just knock people off the map or push people away if they're in your face or you know they've literally got almost no health and it will instantly kill them because a lucio jumping all over your face punching you shooting you is is very frustrating and it will kill you and it can kill like soldier 76 it can even kill mccree if you haven't got he hasn't got his flashbang it's very powerful okay so let's take a look at what you're doing like i mean in terms of your ability usage honestly i think it's fine that positioning was absolutely horrific what is the one thing you cannot do the one thing you cannot do as the only healer on this team is die. And you've died because you've stood in the way of a very obvious position of fire strike. That is really bad. Like, really, really bad. I don't like the way that you're not wall riding very often as well. Okay, luckily we've got the teleporter. We can get the heal song on and start healing them. Heal them. Yes, there we go. Like... What, what I almost want you to do here is not just stand with all your guys, because when they've got ultimates ready, which they'll start getting ultimates ready, uh, the enemy team, if they catch you in some sort of big ultimate combo, you're dead, and you don't really want that. You need to sort of be around the, the edge almost. This is a little bit better in terms of positioning. Yeah, this is kind of fine, although I wouldn't be this far forward. You could back off a little bit, speed it. Like, what I would say here, right, okay, what I would say right there is... You've just speed boosted the Reinhardt, yeah, right? And the rest of the team are pretty much close to you. You should say, let's go on them, guys, we're going, I'm speeding, I'm speeding. And your team will just run forward, and that's how you win Overwatch games. If all your team rushed forward here and just dived them and started killing them, they would wreck them. Look what's happening here. It's happening anyway, right? Because they just sort of followed it in. Look at it. This is because you speed boost. This is why Lucio is absolute god tier. Uh, let's fight, boys. Lucio is phenomenal. He's absolutely phenomenal. And he's way better since he was changed because I, Lucio is awesome. He, in my eyes, he's one of the best characters to play in this game right now. He's so enjoyable. Like, he's gone from being a character which is just kind of boring in the past. He was kind of boring to play. Now he's not. Now he's much more exciting. Right. We need to sound barrier this. We need to sound barrier this. What have we actually got, though, to sound barrier? Nothing. So this is a good call off you. If the team were all together, it could have sound barrier. Right. I'm going to pause this though because I've got the power of hindsight. So initially, I said sound barrier straight away. Me, as soon as I heard, I've got you in my sights, uh, I press Q straight away, right? Because I don't want to get this. I don't want people to die to the uh, the attack visor. But in this case here, I don't think you would have saved the Genji. You would have, met, well, you would have saved the Zarya. So it would have been Zarya and you alive against this soldier right now. So let's see if you manage to kill a soldier. Because if you do, your McCree's dropped down. He's died. No, okay. So don't, yeah, don't use it now. Yeah, so basically, that was very touch and go. It could have saved the point. It might not have saved the point. I would have used it then. Like I said, it's just, that would be me on my level of, of, of Lucio play. As soon as I hear that, that audio prompt, I'm sound barrier because I, I know we need the protection. It looks like Symmetra's doing work there. And it looks like we'll be able to get in a... Yeah, we're going to be able to get back to this point, which is going to be awesome. 
Uh, one actual thing I, I've been missing in all of this, when you respawn, you should be wall riding because you go faster when you wall ride. So when you stop wall riding, I think you get a 20% speed boost and it's cumulative, so it adds up. I think I said earlier on in the, uh, the, the, the coaching session, but you should be doing this as you come from the spawn because you get here quicker, like you would already be here. And that might be the difference. Like, look how low Reinhardt is. You could have got here earlier. I mean, he didn't die, right? But getting there faster with Lucio is always worth it. Like, Lucio is fantastic for contesting payloads as well. Just because he's so quick and he's so durable. Like, Lucio is really tanky. When he's got his self heal on. And even when he's moving fast as well with speed aura. Okay. So there's a minute left on the clock. The enemy team look like they're taking the high ground. Reinhardt with the, with the glory fire strike there. What's he trying to do? Alright, let's see what goes down now. Nope. 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 We, why? 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 I was waiting for this. And it's took you quite a long time to do this. Unless I've missed this uh, in various points. Why have we just used Amp It Up? Nothing was going on. We have preamped. <laughs> we have preempted the preamp. Which is not what we want. We don't want to waste that. Because that is such a powerful ability. It's going to increase our movement speed when we've got the movement song on. And it's going to massively increase our healing. Give us a bit of burst healing. We just wasted it. So when they engage on us now, we don't have it. Okay, so... Alright, let's let this play out. This is okay. We're using all the ultimates. Alright. So I'm going to be pretty harsh now. It wasn't okay to use your sound barrier there. I think you used it when you see the pulse bomb go down. Uh, kind of questionable, really, doing that for pulse bomb. Um, but it was a waste. Like, you didn't really get much effect or much impact off that, I'd say, off that sound barrier. The Graviton would have been enough for us to control them. Like, what I like to do now is imagine if we had our sound barrier still now. Right? Imagine what would happen. If they engage heavy on us now and we suffer massive casualties because we don't have sound barrier, that's because you use sound barrier in a not great position. But a lot of this is alright for me to say because it's the power of hindsight. But me personally would not have used sound barrier there because you could see the pulse bomb wasn't attached to anyone. Everyone could move away and it was like kind of pointless. It was like, well, let's just not do it for pulse bomb. Okay. Very lucky here because we've got the double earth shatter, which I don't think they're going to get us to the point. <laughs> that's oh, okay. lucky. I love solo healing as Lucio. Yeah, it was rough. You should not have been on Lucio, really. But the enemy team didn't punish you for it. That's cool. Okay, let's see if you bring up the score screen. And guys, if you do send in uh, clips for overanalyze, get into the habit of bringing the score screen up at the end of the video. It helps me quite a lot. Uh, at least we had fun. <laughs> yeah, which is all that matters, right? <laughs> A Gengu play the game. Let's watch it. Let's watch the Gengu. Let's go, Gengu. What you got? Oh, it's not a Dragon Blade one. Makes a change. <laughs> what? Well played, Gengu. Okay. All right. So let's let's go over what we've seen here. So uh, first things first. Uh, please wall ride a bit more, especially when you're respawning, because if you wall ride, get back to the fight quicker because you move faster after you stop wall riding. So if you wall ride, jump onto another wall, jump onto another wall, you'll go faster, 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 faster. And the only way to learn all of this is to load in the game, a custom game style, uh, skirmish on pretty much all of the maps and just learn the best paths. Just learn them, like like the back of your hand. Just keep doing them over and over again. Repetition will make you better. It's such a core part of Lucio's um, entire hero is his wall riding. And really, you didn't really do that much wall riding. The other thing, which is the most glaring mistake, to be honest, is lack of um, voice comms, to be honest, or, or lack of telling your team what to do. When you speed, you need to be telling them, guys, I'm going to speed 3, 2, 1, and then just speed. It will, it will propel you through the ranks like you would not believe. A good Lucio that can communicate to his team when to attack and when to disengage will just go, just abs the sky's the limit. It is absolutely ridiculous. The other thing which I didn't see you do in this as well was uh, take up aggressive positions and attack the enemy. Um, I don't think there was, to be honest, really that much of a chance for you to do it on this map. Uh, on King of the Hill, though, there'll be a lot of opportunities for that. So any of those maps, what you should be looking to do is get into people's faces, start booping them, start attacking them, start meleeing them, just, just being annoying. Like, Lucio does a ton of damage and obviously try and hit the, the headshots for the extra damage. Uh, beyond that, I think you're... Switching between the uh, the songs, the healing and the speed, was fine, to be honest. I didn't think it was too bad. Um, obviously, solo healing as Lucio, not great. Obviously, it's doable. Anything's doable, but an Ana in that situation would have been much better because she's got way higher single-target burst healing, which is what you kind of need because your tanks are going to take a lot of damage. But yeah, you, I mean, you're pretty good. There's a lot of room for improvement, but the sky's the limit. 
Um, just practice wall riding a bit more and please use your microphone. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Salos and this is Unit Lost. If you would like to send a video into this series for consideration, then do follow the instructions that have been on the screen and I will catch you on the next one, guys. Oh, and do remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming and you can um, join the Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Toodaloo.